In approximately one hour, the wraith will drop out of hyperspace. Here. It's just outside of the Pegasus galaxy. There they will pause for 15 hours. If Daedalus and Orion break orbit on our current schedule, they should be able to reach those coordinates in just under 14 hours. Best possible speed. Narrow window. It's the only window, sir. Understood. Now, the International Oversight Advisory wants you to brief them on this matter. When would you like me to dial in again? You misunderstand me. I mean in person. And I mean right now. The president himself. I can't just leave. Not now. I'm afraid that's not up to you. There is far too much Doctor, going on here. You've done all you're going to do for now. I need you to step through that gate. They're waiting for you in my briefing room. Dr. Weir? I see. Taylor, we are awaiting several teams to return from their missions. Once that happens, I'd like to suspend all gate travel till this whole thing is over. Of course. And I'll need you to dial in once the Daedalus is ready to leave. I know what to do, Elizabeth. Of course you do. I will see you when you return. Thank you. Welcome back to Earth. Thank you, General. It's wonderful to be here. I can see that. You know I consider disobeying your order. There wouldn't have been too much you could do about it. You made the right decision in coming. We're in the middle of a crisis, General. This you is absolutely- bite my head off, Elizabeth. The recall order didn't come from me. Who it came from doesn't matter. What if I told you it came from the President? I wouldn't believe you. And you'd be right. But in a couple of weeks, there could be aliens on our doorstep determined to feed on the human race. The president had no choice but to accede to the IOA's demand that you be brought back to explain yourself. So what do they really want? To point fingers and cover their asses. I am honestly not sure how I will respond to that, sir. They're bureaucrats, Elizabeth. You'll have them for breakfast. <laughs> 